Good morning. Good afternoon, actually. Uh, thank you for joining us on day five of the Greene County Chamber of Commerce virtual series, Navigating Business and COVID-19. And so today we are, um, this is day five, and I have Mr. Kevin Hartrich. He is the Lake Oconee Area Manager for Hargrave Communications, and he's going to be talking with us a little bit about connectivity in Greene County and Putnam County um, in the Lake Oconee area. So Kevin, thank you so much for joining us. Um, a little bit of housekeeping. If you have a question that you would like to ask Kevin, um, we are going to have a little question and answer session towards the end of his presentation. And you can direct all of your questions to me. My name is Jackie Greer on behalf of the Greene County Chamber of Commerce. We welcome you. So Kevin, um, if you would like to go ahead and take over, I'm going to pass the controls over to you so that you, you can uh, control your presentation here and we will get started. Fantastic. Um, thank you, Jackie. And I think uh, one of the things that we've learned with uh, since March with the pandemic is really how important it is to stay connected, to have the ability to do um, work from home, school from home, stay connected with family and friends. So I think this is incredibly timely uh, to have this conversation. Um, let me tell you a little bit about myself because I'm relatively new to Hargrave. I joined the team in, in April of this year. Um, I've lived in, in the area since 2011. Uh, and one of the reasons that, the, that I was able to, to uh, take on the job as the area manager is because uh, I did bring a little bit of local knowledge. So those of you who, who are familiar with, with Lake Oconee know it's, uh, it's definitely a unique community. It has its um, unique characteristics. So Hargrave felt it was important that we bring in someone who was familiar with that, and I was fortunate enough to be that person. Um, I'd spent 25-plus years in the telecom business, primarily out of Atlanta, working uh, with MCI and Verizon. Uh, and like I said, we, we moved the family from Atlanta out here in 2011 and have really enjoyed it. Um, this opportunity came up and I did a lot of background checking on, on Hargrave. And I think one of, the, one of the things that really stands out is their commitment to community. Um, the company's headquartered in, in uh, Hilton Head, South Carolina, but what they do is they set up basically territories and they allow personnel in those territories to own their territory. That's why my title is area manager. So I have responsibility for uh, the Lake Oconee area, which includes both Greene and Putnam County. Um, we have an office here. We're at 865 Harmony Road. So as you're heading toward Eatonton, you take a ride at McDonald's and we're about two miles down on the right-hand side. Um, we, unfortunately, we, we've closed the office due to the pandemic, but we still are taking payments and equipment. But I think the point is, is that we're local. Um, you'll see on my business card, our business card, um, that we're local folks. We have a fully staffed, experienced technical group that works out of this office. We have a dispatcher who's been um, with Plantation, now with Hargrave, who works out of this office. We have customer service people who work out of this office. Um, and, that, and that's key. It's kind of interesting because before we got on with you folks, Jackie and I were having a conversation and Jackie was having some connectivity uh, challenges at her office and she was asking um, some basic questions about what they can do and how they could handle it. And it just really highlighted to me the importance of being able to talk to somebody local and just have that touch. Uh, and that's really what, you're, what we're trying to do. We're trying to drive that with Hargrave. And I think that you will see that throughout a short PowerPoint presentation that I put together. But I think if you've lived in the area for a while, I hope that that's one of the things that you've experienced. I mean, we're not perfect. Um, we've got some issues and a lot of it, some of it's in our control and some of it isn't uh, weather related, for example. But one of the things that we really try to do here is we really try to focus on customer service and really be that face for the Lake Oconee community. And what you're gonna see in the coming months and as we get out of the pandemic, pandemic and roll into 2021, there's gonna be a lot of involvement with Hargrave in the community. Um, 
Um, we worked with Jackie's team to, do, to, to sponsor an event with Publix, which I'll talk a little bit more about. But I, I just wanted to, to, to lay the foundation as to the importance that Hargrey as a company places on being um, a local provider. Um, you know, a, a lot of times you hear, well, you know, they're headquartered in South Carolina. They don't really care about this area. Uh, unfortunately, that is definitely not the case. And they have structured themselves to be a, um, a local face to the community. And, and what we're really trying to do is make sure that, that everyone understands that, that we're here, we live here, we work with you, and we're a part of the community. Kevin, I would like just to jump in really quickly and just attest to that a little bit too, because I have had the um, opportunity to be on calls with you and your team uh, that are not local. And I will say that me personally, I have been impressed with the um, commitment level from Hargrey as, as a corporation, as a company that they have taken to our area here. And um, so we appreciate that so much. And, and even just other events and other ways that, that you guys can give back to our community, the conversations are taking place. And I think that that says a lot for, for you guys as a company. So thank you. No, thank you. And, and, and that's exactly the type of testimonial that we're hoping to to evolve and, 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 and increase, Jackie. So thank you for that. Uh, from a company perspective, um, we've got over 800 employees uh, and, and Hargrey is growing and, and they're committed to each and every market that they're in. So technology, if, if I've been in this business for a long time and I've seen a lot of growth and, and you have to grow, you have to grow to stay competitive. Hargrey recognizes that. Um, Reynolds is one of our largest customers, both from both on the commercial side and for the residents and in, in that live in Reynolds. And what we're finding is what a diverse population. Uh, you really have people from all over the country, if not all over the world. So you really get exposed to a lot of different uh, backgrounds, which really kind of keeps us on our toes. But I mean, it really does force us to be um, be able to, to to talk the talk from a technological perspective. And Hargrey is committed to um, evolving our services. I think one of the things that we constantly hear from, from folks here is, is our TV service. Uh, it's, it's, it's not where we want it to be, but it, we understand what the, what, where the technology is going and we're working very closely with, with some of the business community and the residents to really take that input and put a product out there that is, that is cutting edge. So um, that's, a, that's another benefit of being a local company. I mean, we listen um, and, and, you know, I, I see many of you in, in local businesses, publics, and, and so there's an opportunity to have those types of conversation exchange. So they're very cognizant of that. And Hargrave, uh, you know, Hargrave being located in Hilton Head, it's a very um, parallel community to, 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 to Reynolds with being a resort and a golf course area. So they're very in tune to being, uh, having a very diverse clientele. Um, I've, I've hyped it, but I, I don't want to, I don't want to, um, I jumped ahead there, didn't mean to. Um, I'll talk a little bit about local support, which I just skipped over, but I think I've covered, I think you get the gist of what I'm trying to say from a local perspective. We are actively involved with both Green and Putnam County Chambers. I mean, it's a commitment that we're making and we're going to continue to make. And it's, it's events like this that uh, Jackie is, is, is hosting for the Green County that we're going to continue to be involved with. One of the things that I think that as a technology provider that we do owe our, that we do owe our customers is the um, commitment to be able to explain where as best we can, where the technology is going. And I see my slides are just taking on a life of their own. <laughs> um, I can kind of talk through it. So um, we do offer both uh, three types of service. We offer voice service, we offer internet service, and we offer TV. Um, and from a residential perspective, uh, up to a gig internet speeds. Uh, there are a lot of, in talking with Jackie through some of the issues that she was having at the office, there are a lot of components that make up what is eventually delivered to your home or business from an internet speed standpoint. We're very fortunate that we've got a lot of expertise on staff that is more than willing to talk with you through that. But some of this is, 
is, is in your control from a standpoint of what you have on premise from an equipment standpoint. So that's one of the things when, when you engage Hargrave and you engage and you set up an appointment, you engage a technician, we encourage you to, to be fully involved and engage and ask questions. One of the things that I think, again, sets Hargrave a little different than, than most is even through the pandemic, we have been very um, uh, on top of appointments and have continued to do in-home visits with all of the protection, with the gloves, with the mask and making sure that you truly understand that we are uh, still providing that service inside. If you as a residential customer or a business customer prefer, we can do that, we're accommodating. And I do encourage you when you do engage a hard grade technician or even a hard grade rep here in the office on the phone or if been talking with me, please uh, feel free to really ask questions because this technology is, is, is always changing. Uh, and you see many different opinions about it. So I think it's, it's very important that to keep current, take advantage of that local expertise because these folks are here to help you. Um, so I encourage that. And that's one of the things that we were talking to Jackie about is that let's, let's just schedule an appointment and have a technician come in so we can kind of talk through some of the issues and some of the challenges and where we may be able to make some changes and where possibly she can make some changes from an equipment standpoint. Um, we, we have a, a fully robust website, which you can go on and look at, but, but most of you are familiar with our services. We have a wall-to-wall Wi-Fi service, uh, which is very important based on kids at home, uh, work at home, and, and everything else that you do at home that requires uh, bandwidth. So we provide that service. We're committed to that. And again, we just need to make sure that you guys are, are getting the type of bandwidth you need based on the types of applications that you're, you're using. We also have phone service. I know a lot of people, you hear the term cut the cord, but a lot of people still are very reliable on what they call wireline service. And we offer that. We offer it as a bundle with, with telephone, TV, and internet service. Let's see if I can figure this out, Jackie. <laughs> uh, I will talk a little bit about uh, what else we do from a community standpoint because it just kind of flew right over it. Um, let me see if I can get back there. I am going to talk about business services here in a second. Uh, we did talk about the public's effort that we were involved in. Um, and we are also involved in working very closely with LOA. LOA is a customer, and obviously many of you are familiar with uh, work, the um, learning from home. So bandwidth, again, becomes incredibly important to be able to support that. Uh, and we have several programs in place for those that uh, don't necessarily have the ways and means to, to, to afford internet for their uh, uh, in-home classroom needs. We have promotions to be able to support that. Uh, again, I encourage you to talk with a local rep here as to explain who's eligible for that and how you might be able to take advantage of it. Uh, I did... I didn't mention that we do have a 24 by seven network operations center to be able to take your calls, which is on our local support slide. Let me see if I can get to. We'll talk about the business services because obviously we offer a, four a full portfolio of residential and business services. Um, give you a good example. Dr. Perry for Lake Oconee Eye Care, Eye Care is building a new business right on 44. We're providing a managed service for Dr. Perry um, and supporting that from a full business standpoint. Um, we do IT solutions. We do dark fiber, providing a dark fiber solution for public supermarkets. We do carrier wholesale services. We're actually providing that service to Marco's Pizza, the new pizza place that's opened up there uh, as you come near Publix. So we have a full portfolio of both residential and business services for the lake. These are not stagnant by any means. And, and this is where we, being local, want to encourage the conversation because if you're hearing about something, the advantage of being here at Lake Oconee is we got people from different parts of the country. And I'm always saying, well, you know, I, I live in Fort Myers for half of the year and this is what my uh, cable provider is providing. These are the types of conversations that I really encourage because that helps us get a handle as to where we're going to take our product roadmap and, and what we want to be offering as we go forward. So it's, it's very helpful to have those conversations with your rep, with, with me, or with our customer service group. Um, 
that those are the, the the few slides that I do have, but I but I I do want to open it up for some questions. But I I also wanted to let you know that 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 one of the things that that uh, we do are and we are providing is a um, service through Putnam County. And as, as I said, we're very active with the Putnam group, and we're also working with the state of Georgia with the broadband authority that covers both both Putnam and Greene County. There is a huge initiative, and this is all pandemic driven and the, the work from home, school from home um, uh, uh, enterprises that we're seeing. We are very much engaged with the state of Georgia. Um, our superintendent in Greene County has an, has an initiative that they are trying to get bandwidth for all. So Hargrave is, is working with them very closely. Uh, we have a very robust network um, that covers the Lake Oconee network, the Lake Oconee area, and again, both Green and Putnam, but we're always looking for opportunities as to how we can get those outlying areas. One of the things that we've seen since the pandemic is a tremendous amount of growth. So house, house sales, building, real estate opportunities, business opportunities, we're seeing a lot of people that are coming from Atlanta and other major metro areas that are finding, hey, why not Green County? Why not the lake? Why not take advantage of, of um, relatively less traffic as compared to Atlanta, uh, a little slower pace, but a great opportunity to be in a, a very tranquil lake setting that we all know and love here in Lake Oconee. So we're seeing a tremendous amount of growth. So one of the things that, that I really do want to leave you with is Hargrave is committed to growing with Greene County and Greensboro and the lake area um, because we do realize that that there's a, I mean, there is a, has been a tremendous influx of, of people that have become interested here and, and we're here to, to provide what services we can to help stimulate growth and, and continue to uh, allow folks to maintain communications both on a business side and a residential side. So with that, Jackie, maybe we can see if we get any questions. Yes, so I just had to unmute myself. Um, all right, so we do have some questions. Um, can a resident use their own modem or router, or do you have to use the Hargrave equipment? You can use your own equipment. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. I had no idea that that was even an option. <laughs> So very good. And, you know, another thing, too, that um, it, the conversations that you and I had before this call um, is just the simplicity. If you are having some issues, how easy it is just to submit a ticket. Um, again, I didn't I didn't realize. And I think for us, we've been in this area for over for over almost 12 years. And so the equipment that we've been using is possibly some of the even the connectivity issues that we're having um, at home it could be the fact that we are just using old equipment. And so you were saying that it's as easy as just submitting a ticket and having a technician come out uh, to make sure that the equipment that we're using is the most up-to-date equipment to help with that connectivity. Yeah, issue. And, I, and I'll give you, I'll give you a personal story on that. And this is, this is one of the reasons that I, that I come to appreciate Hargrave. Um, we were getting very slow bandwidth speeds. And so I came in and I talked to Chris who works in our office here, incredibly knowledgeable and he asked me the age of my router, and I said, well, you know, we probably had it for six or seven years. He goes, these things, like anything, there, there is a, a lifespan, and you would be amazed what you can, how you can upgrade your, your own bandwidth by upgrading your equipment. And it made a difference. We went out and got a new router, and it made an immediate difference in, in our bandwidth capability. So that is something. There are pieces there that you as a, as a uh, homeowner or a business owner do have to be aware of. And again, this is where the the consultation with Hargrave will, will help alleviate a lot of those problems. Yeah. So it's not necessarily the service that's the issue. It can be definitely an equipment issue. Um, and that's, yeah. you know, and especially I know you have a teenager at home as well. And you have, you have teenagers at home, they're on their own devices and they are using a lot of bandwidth as well. And so, uh, all very, very good information. So another question that just came in is, um, what information do we need to have when we call Hargray? And I'm going to add, um, yes, we can call Hargray, but is there also a way to contact Hargray to submit a ticket online? Uh, you, 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 do, you can submit a ticket online, but let me answer the first question. When basic information that you need, uh, obviously the more information is better, but if you have your address or your phone number, that's how we can look up your account. If you have your account number, even better yet, but we can look up your account 
um, via phone and an address. Okay. Uh, as far as as far as opening tickets online, I'm going to have to come back to the group to, to, to give you the process exactly how to do that. Okay. Uh, because I don't want to give you bad information. But when you do call in, it's best to have address, phone number, and account number. Uh, any one of the three, we can get to what we need to get is from an information standpoint. Would we also need to have any information off of our current equipment? Uh, yeah, obviously, yes. Yes, if you have that. But your, and that's a, that's a great question because we'll have a record of, of if, if we're providing a modem, we'll have a record of what we have provided. Um, but it's very helpful if you know what you have. That way, again, it stimulates that conversation as to knowing how long you've had a particular router, what type of a router it is, how many, pe how many devices are, are you using in the home, how many people are, are online at any given time. All of those components that you can bring to the conversation is only going to help uh, expedite the solution if you're having particular issues. Yeah, and that's good to know, too, because even when I called you and we talked about the fact I have five people in my office, I'm thinking about five computers, but not necessarily also five mobile devices. So now we're at 10, right? Yes. And then any guest that comes into the office and they start connecting their mobile devices. So having all that information available and really kind of thinking through that can help expedite the, the solution. Absolutely. Uh, let's see. There's a question that just came through. I've heard that having ex an extender, while it may show a strong signal, can actually so slow down speeds. Is that true? Uh, it, I think it depends on the extender. Um, and again, a lot of the factors that, that how many people are actually online at one time. Um, I, I, you know, it's, it's almost a home by home, business by business type of, and, and, and obviously the quality of the extender. Um, I purchased a couple myself and didn't have a whole lot of luck with it, but I think it's almost, it's an, it's an individual um, decision and what the, and the solution just depending upon, again, number of people type of extender. Um, obviously if you've got a, if you have a 6,000 square foot house versus a 2,500 square foot house, if you have upstairs, downstairs, you have a basement, all of those factors go into quality of service delivery. So it just depends. Um, I will say, just from an extender standpoint, uh, I have, I've had, I've had um, more good experience with extenders, but you've got to do a little background. You've got to do a little research. And again, I just invite you to have that conversation with, with, with the hard rate technician. Uh, these guys are on it on a regular basis. And trust me, based on, based on the, the, the nuances associated with this particular market in Green and Putnam, we see all different types of, of, of uh, residences and businesses. So they have, a, they have a good deal of experience as to, you know, what type of equipment is required, where an extender might help, uh, where it might not help. And, and they really become um, uh, the expertise that you, that you need to rely on. So is there an extra cost associated with having a technician come out and evaluate the equipment? Yeah, there is a cost associated with the truck roll. What I would what I would advise, I would just call into the office, explain what the situation is, and and the, the in house expertise can can guide you from there. Whether they feel that we really need to come out and take a look again, really dependent on, upon how many people, uh, use, size of home. Um, it's a case by case situation. It might be as easy as talking to somebody on the phone and like. Chris here helped me. How old is your router? Well, it's five. It's six, five to six years old. You need a new router. Didn't require a visit. Didn't require a truck roll. Just went to the store, bought a new router, plugged it in. Boom, problem solved. So it just really depends on what the issue is and, and uh, which direction that you go. Perfect. All right. Are there any other questions? We've had some great conversations. Okay. It looks like, um, I don't believe we have any other questions. Um, Kevin, thank you so much for joining us today and uh, sharing everything that uh, Hargrave as a company is doing for our community. We really appreciate that. Hey, Jackie, can I just close? Because I just, I, I, I just want to make sure that, that just to drive home the point, 
if you're having issues, if you've got questions, if, you, if it's a technological question, if it's a bill payment question, if it's my bill has gone up astronomically, trust me, I, I keep track on Nextdoor, I watch. What I would encourage you to do is if you have a question, call us directly. Uh, because we have, everybody's familiar with Nextdoor, everybody has an opinion, but I think the, the, the best thing that I could advise you to do from a, from a communication standpoint, talk to the provider. And only until you talk to the provider will you know what the situation, what your limitations, what is available. I just encourage that. My phone number's on this presentation. I think you're going to find that if, if you've had experience with hardware or you haven't, our technicians are more than willing to provide you with any uh, background detail, technological information that you require. So take advantage of that. Kind of take the responsibility and don't listen to what you see or read. Ask the experts. That's, that's why we're here. I mean, take advantage of the localness of, that Hardray offers. So That is um, great advice. And, um, and I think that that could translate not only to Hardray, but for all the many businesses in the Lake Country. If you have an issue, go to the source, get to the bottom of it. And, you know, because um, it's hard to help if you don't know that there's a problem. And so, that's why we're here. Yeah. Thank you so much. Great, great well, advice. All right. Very good. Well, thank you so much, Kevin, for your time today. And we appreciate everyone that joined us. Be on the lookout for um, the series to drop next week through social media on the Chamber of Commerce website, um, social networks, and also through email. So thank you so much, Kevin. Have a great day. Thanks, Jackie. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.